The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is the first Zelda game where you play as Zelda herself. Breath of the Wild to Tears of the Kingdom is like Link's Awakening to Echoes of Wisdom. They have similar art styles, similar world types, and similar gameplay. But the second game in both sequels includes new gaming mechanics that allow the player to take objects and use them however you like to traverse the map and solve puzzles. First and foremost, the gameplay in Echoes of Wisdom is both innovative and nostalgic, blending classic Zelda mechanics with new features. For the first time in the series, you play as Zelda as she travels through a vast and diverse world solving puzzles, battling enemies, and uncovering secrets. The game introduces a new mechanic called Echoes, which are special abilities that Zelda can acquire and use to overcome challenges. The Echoes add a layer of strategy to the gameplay, as players must decide when and how to use them effectively. These Echoes not only diversify the gameplay, but also encourage players to explore and experiment with different strategies. Let's go! Give me that big key! Uh oh. Ah! I can't warp. Alright, we gotta climb. We gotta get out of here the old fashioned way. Good thing for us, the lava's going really slow. Dude, this isn't even hard. Oh no! Oh no, the lava's gonna get me! Oh look, I'm a little bitch! Just kidding, this shit's easy. You gotta be fuck. I bet giving it a good thumping will fix all our problems too. Fine plan, let's all dive in. Yeah, let's go whoop his ass, guys! Guys, jump in! Woo. No! Huh? You f you assholes! <laughs> ah! oh. <gasps> no way! It's Beetle! Please be Beetle! Who the hell is this nerd? Yeah. The stamp guy! Get the fuck out of here! You got this bell looking at that has triangles flying behind him or her, whatever it is, and these triangles are your energy level. When you create a monster that costs one energy level, one triangle will disappear from Tree's body. You can upgrade the amount of triangles Tree will have by increasing its level overall. You do this by entering rifts throughout the world and collecting all of Tree's dumbass friends that are stuck in these purple smoky balls. Once you collect them all, everybody gonna get excited and dance, and this will mend the rift, increasing Tree's level. In order to obtain an Echo to use for yourself, you look for these little sparkles around certain objects. Or whatever enemy you kill, you can adopt them into your army and use them against their own family. It's great. I'm going to show you some examples of the best echoes in this game, in my opinion. The bed is one of the most clutch echoes in this entire game. You get it early on, and it only costs one energy level, but I have used more beds in this game than it would take to cross the Walt Whitman Bridge with a bunch of twin-sized beds. We gotta climb this cliff, but I'm gonna try and do that with beds, and I don't know exactly if you can. Okay. I can do four beds max. I need that last bed, but I can't... Let me try a box. No, I can't jump on the box. Wait a minute, I have an idea. We're gonna use the environment, or use our resources. You go right there. Now we're gonna put the bed on. One, two, need a trampoline. Oh yeah, look at that shit. See, that's one of my favorite things about this game. You know, it's just how flexible the travel is. It's amazing. I'm not even in the map anymore. I'm pulling a Truman Show and I'm leaving the world. And I'm appreciating it too because it is darn beautiful. And look, this dude don't even know I'm coming up behind him. Corona flag. Jump, dingus, dingus. You're ruining my whole process. You're making me look like a chump in front of my YouTubers. Dingus, I've seen you jump way bigger than this. Jump on the beds, buddy. Look at this. Guess I gotta fucking do everything around here. Oh no, another dead end? After searching around a bunch of dipshit echoes, I've come across the one, the only, Dark Knight. My friend who I call Hector. This guy's cool. Alright, Heck, get the worm. Alright, Heck, get the worm. <laughs> Yay! Ah! Heck, get the spiders! Get him! <laughs> he took them all out with one swing. Right, come here. 
Come on. Someone's gotta learn a lesson. Heck, get him. <laughs> Shut your pig ass up. Yeah, heck! Get his ass! God, why is he so slow? I mean, I get it. He's invincible. I'm not gonna complain too much. Yay, monster guts! Heck, get to work. Dude, that's so sick. They can't even hurt him. Heck is a fucking beast. Dude, even the bird can't get him. Get him, Heck! Ow, Heck, do your job. Heck, you're not swinging at nobody. You're swinging at demons. You can fight those in therapy. Heck, you had one job. Oh, wow. What an interesting place you got here. Is that Arbok from Pokemon? Oh, boy. I scared. Dodge the attack. Porky the pig, attack. Get him. Porky, who are you swinging at? I have decided if I'm going to win this boss battle, I'm not going to use anybody besides my boy Hector. He may be dumb. He may be slow. But he's also fucking stupid. Attack. No. Who are you swinging at? Hector. This battle's been going on for, I would say, at least 10 minutes now. Heck, attack! Who are you swinging at? Hector! You dumbass. I ain't giving up. It was a fluke, okay? Sometimes accidents happen. Heck, attack! I've discovered that I hit him once, so I know I can hit him probably a lot more than that. Heck, attack, attack! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby! Hey, look, you don't even see it coming. Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about, Hector. Swing! Stop jumping! Swing, you idiot! Hector, you are in the eye of the storm, and I need your help right now. Redeem yourself. Why are you swinging at nothing? Stop swinging! <laughs> he waits until he leaves, and then he starts swinging. Yep, you see what happens? Sometimes people don't learn their lesson. Swing! Swing! What are you waiting for? Swing! Attack! This has been going on for, I think, no exaggeration, 20 minutes now. All for a fucking stupid video for a joke that's mildly funny. Hector, load your axe up. The fuck are you waiting for? All right, I gotta throw him. <laughs> I think the problem is Hector feels betrayed, man. Hector, look! I'm sorry, bro! I never should have replaced you! You were always like a brother to me! No other Echo could take your place! You may be slow, but Hector! I believe in you! The tree rod allows Zelda to move echoes, objects, and enemies. Besides the echoes, it's one of the useful tools you'll use throughout your gameplay to solve certain puzzles, and it makes room for many unique ways to overcome obstacles with flexibility. Yep. Go in the water, buggy. Yep. <laughs> See that woman right there? She was stolen away a long time ago, and she hasn't spoken a word since. Wait, so she doesn't talk? I killed my entire family. All right, have a good day. I hope Zelda's okay. I hope the rumors going around about her aren't true. R rumors? What rumors? Zelda, what a dumb bitch, am I right? What's everyone in town saying about good old Zelda? I don't understand why the princess would do this to us. Opening rifts in the castle. I didn't do shit. No one in town even likes you. The graphics in Echoes of Wisdom are an upgrade from Link's Awakening, combining vibrant colors with character models and detailed environments. The game features a unique art style that blends realistic textures and colorful animations. Overall, the map itself is pretty great, and I personally like it more than the one in Link's Awakening. This little area that you see me running around aimlessly is only this big on the map. This should give you a decent perspective of the world size itself. Even though the map is beautiful, I did find the blurriness to be a bit ugly. I think I know why they did this, to add depth to the height of cliffs, 
to emphasize their height and also to make the map just seem bigger and you have to purposefully explore more closely to learn more about that area. This place looks fun. There's a rift inside it. <laughs> you don't say. Seems like something's bothering. <laughs> Should we ask about the membership card? I've never heard sounds like that before. He sounds so depressed. Now my Snookums hates me. Membership card? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. My friend just died. Bro, I'm trying to get in the club. My home is gone. I want to have my home back. Hey, man. What am I going to do? Membership card? <laughs> Not only is the bed useful for traveling around the map, but you can plop it down anywhere in the world and take a nap and regain hearts. The only downside to this is that it takes literally forever. In conclusion, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom offers an engaging and visually stunning experience. Its innovative gameplay mechanics, diverse types of echoes, and youthful graphics make it a unique entry in the Zelda franchise.